So how did you find out about this way to do like a system, like come up with data, break it down, right. reverse engineer stuff that works and, and come up with the system. And I guess it makes it easier for you to trade because you're, you know, you know, discretionary, you can be kind of like all over the place sometimes. Right. Yeah. You know, it's tough. I, discretionary is really tough. I mean, it's, I think it's a lot harder in my opinion. Um, but yeah, uh, but Katani, Katani shows you, he, he shows you the door, you know, in trading tickers uh, one and in trading tickers two for how to start, um, you know, harvesting data and collecting it like uh, his overextended gap down pattern. Uh, he, he shows you, you know, the statistics and how, what he's tracking, what he's looked for. And so he can have a statistical edge, a directional edge in what he's a uh, play he's trying to attack that day. And uh, so ducks, I mean, no, ducks comes next, but Brittani really opened that door for me. Um, and so that's how I started concentrating on data and doing spreadsheets and the webinars that he would give in um, the challenge chat room. I mean, I would, I would go through way back in time. I watched so many, like from 2015, 16, 17, 18, you name it. I was watching all of Ritani's old webinars. And, and even some of the webinars, he, he showed some good examples of how he would do that and uh, how he would uh, track data and, and use it. And then I, and then I found uh, Ducks because Ducks was actually still in the chat room when I joined in 2018. Was, yeah, was I remember that. Yeah, you were there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was just, you know, on his way out, but he was still there a little bit. Um, and uh, I finally, I bought his DVD, because that's how I found out about Ducks, was through the Tim Challenge room. And uh, I bought his DVD, and he went over gappers very well. Gratani never went over gappers. He went over tracking data and overextended gap downs. But when I saw Gratani talk about, I mean, Ducks talk about gappers that really gravitated me towards that pattern because a lot more they were more frequent and yeah. there's a lot more to track uh and so that really attracted me to it and you know ducks i mean he, that's where he got he got famous off you know the gap up short way back in the day now that was like yeah pattern right yeah <laughs> and uh so that's what made me concentrate on gappers and tracking data for those two guys excellent and and uh okay and then also you started 2018. So like you weren't part of the wave of like uh, starting at 2020 where everybody and their mom has like a Robin Hood account and like yeah. everybody's a trader. So yeah. you had had put in countless hours before that. So how did that play out? Like how yeah. do, do you think a lot like I reflect a lot myself like, wow, uh, it's a good thing. I was prepared at the right time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so how much did that factor in and how? So when did you switch to like become more systematic? Was it like when the COVID hit and afterwards and before it, that? It hit. So before my systematic, when I went just full systematic trading, um, I was doing, it was kind of half, you know, I had data that I was using my data for a directional edge, but I was playing the price action. It was, you know, um, more so than having, you know, strict entries and exits. Um, and, uh, that worked, you know, and, and it was working. I, I was profitable. It was nothing crazy. But what made me do the big switch is how seeing how it worked for my brother so quickly. And when I saw him make four thousand more dollars than me in one day, you know, we're very competitive. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, what? It, 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 it works. It's just I mean, it works. It, I was like, it works. So I was like, I got to do it. I mean, at least do both of them uh, have like, you know, my system tradings and then also play price action, but like separate them. Uh, maybe in two different accounts. Well, I only have one account at the time, but separate them mentally in my head. Like whatever shares I put in system, I don't touch those shares. And whatever shares I want to do price action, I'll only touch those shares. Um, I would do that. Um, but most, most of the profits would always come from the systematic. I, I ended up finding out. I always feel the market, it's always discretionary. It's hard. I mean, I'm still practicing it. Um, but I know for me, it... Uh, I mean, I feel the market is just so wired to taking advantage of your emotions and trying to get you to cover, trying to get you to stop out, yeah, trying to fake you out all the time. And so when I, without my data, you know, giving me that confidence and comfortability to withstand certain moves that may just be, you know, just, just, uh, you know, rigors trying to stop you out. Um, really was a, some turning points for, for me. Just trusting my data was a huge, huge turning point. 
And when you discovered uh, that systematic approach from, you know, Gratani and Ducks at first, yeah. did it did it make sense to you right away? Like, oh, this is the route I need to focus on a little bit more. Discretionary is cool because, like, I understand up until now, I understand how, you know, it's, it's a good right. way to learn, learn the, the ropes. Yes. Um, but then, like, you know, you're like, OK, my the, how did your personality fit with systematic? Like, were you always as a in, I know, like for me in the past, when I was. When I liked fantasy baseball, I, I guess I was a, a systematic with fantasy baseball. <laughs> now with yeah. trading, but um, th- th- were you good at math, or were you good at? Were there other things like that you were syst- had a systematic approach that you that you when you discovered uh systematic trading, you're like, okay, let me let me put some effort into this and and uh, break and go into this and see what happens. I mean, I'm not. I don't have the greatest math background. I mean, I took statistics in college and, and you know whatnot, the basics, algebra two, and you know no calculus or anything. Uh, um, I mean, I I just uh, when I was able to see the statistical edges on paper, um, it really showed me that it felt like this is the right way. I mean, if you have a statistical edge, I mean that's how you can I feel like really make money in the market. Um, you know, if you're not the best discretionary trader, I mean, that and just sizing up is also really tough doing it discretionary. When you have a system involved and you know, like if this pattern comes this amount times a year um, and the win rate's about <laughs> this much, you can even have a pretty good idea of what you'll, you know, should get by the end of the year. Um, and you could test your downswings um, to, you, you, you just test a lot of things when you have numbers in front of you. 